For a second day, 12,000 households in Surrey have had to queue to get water. Their taps have run dry, not because of drought, but because of too much rain. Thames Water blames Storm Kiron for shutting down a treatment works in Guildford. Not good enough, say local residents. I think it's a poor excuse, really. I think it's underinvestment over the years, and in, in this is what's going to happen more. We pay quite a lot of money into this, so I think that they should be able to have, you know, second options. It seems we come to a standstill in any sort of, you know, different weather conditions. Thames Water says Storm Kiron caused the power to fail at three treatment plants in the early hours of last Thursday. Electricity was quickly restored at two, but it took four days to get the Shalford Waterworks in Guildford back on stream. The storm that we had caused uh, one of our uh, fuses to trip um, and that caused then some issues with the uh, transformers there that had to be replaced. And we did see uh, challenges with bringing in some of the quality of water from uh, some of our uh, river supplies. As the climate changes, utility companies are facing new challenges. Extreme weather that was once only expected rarely is now much more common. Water companies are supposed to report to government what climate risks they're exposed to and then explain how they're managing them. But storms and floods shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. So the question remains, are they resilient enough? In 2007, severe flooding knocked out the water supply to 350,000 homes in Gloucestershire for two weeks. A report at the time said lessons needed to be learned, but experts say companies still aren't doing enough to stress test their systems. These supplies do need to be resilient. Doing the alternative, which is what is happening in Surrey at the moment, and providing bottled water, um, is both extraordinarily expensive and inconvenient, particularly for disabled people, elderly people. Thames Water is building a five-mile pipeline in Surrey next year, so supplies can be rerouted if one treatment plant fails. But infrastructure in many other parts of the country remains vulnerable in a warming world. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Surrey.